holy crap, this is a real life laser rifle. Cutting through metal like nothing. Well, they were cutting with metal 50 years ago. And so the big question was, what is that one up in the corner when this the gas is a bombing? The one behind me, that's a gas of bombing. But that one up here, that don't put up no debris. That don't put up no fireball. That's not putting up any smoke. You don't see any dead Palestinian children, arms or legs flying through the air like you do with the other explosions. And laser weapons, whether you realize or not, have been around for a very, very long time. Here's a picture, a picture I mashed together. This one over here is the official Boeing, I think it is, propaganda machine. Now that's not a real shot you're seeing over there. Look at the white light though at the bottom of it. And look what the projection is, the straight light. Now look at the one alongside of me. See that white light? And look at the projection. Now what makes this really interesting is we all know what the next generation of weapons are. Even in 2006, there was no doubt what the next generation of weapons is going to be. This company called uh, Raphael developed a new high energy laser weapon for Israel. A high energy weapon for Israel. And not only just one, they have multiple, all kinds of devices, and they got everything else on the drawing blocks ready to go. The American military are deploying ships with lasers right now. This year, it's out there. And the laser, oh, you can see the difference in what the explosions are going to be like. And so this is a huge thing for these. But we got the first kill now. And it's Israeli using Gaza as usual for experiments. We're looking at the first confirmed microwaving of humans. And so our entire history up to this point has been about getting our hands on these maniacal weapons. And in our entire future, we'll be looking back on this point where they were first used. And Israel was the first country to get caught at it. And they're melting people. And so they want to lob in these big bombs all around me to destroy the footprint of the laser. But first they got to go in there and they got to get samples. They got to go in and see how clean cut they made or what kind of damage it done. And that's going to take you know quite a bit. And so Benjamin Netanyahu, of course, he needs a sustained what he calls a sustained battle to defeat 10,000 Hamas. So 7 million people in Israel are useless. They can't even fight 10,000 people. In order for them to fight 10,000 people, Israel had to go out and create 5 million refugees because they couldn't go fight the 10,000 Hamas that they created and that they fund and that they allow them to operate in order to demonize them to get the other... Now you see this little piece of land right there, that little green snot in the last photo over. My finger will disappear if I go too far. That's Gaza. 25 miles long by 4 to 7 miles wide because Israel has annihilated everything. And right now there's about 125 square miles left. That little snot of land right above me. Right above my finger there, that little green. We'll look at it over there now. They got the rest of it almost gone where they chewed it all up. And fishermen, if they go in the water at all, they get attacked. But they're not allowed to work three miles off land. The disproportionate is like something we've never seen before. Disproportionately, Hamas is not capable. And once again, just to remind everybody, Iran has 49 bases around it. 49 bases. How are they going to sneak out? and attack Israel with 49 stocked bases of Israeli weapons because they're closer and so the, Israel is the fourth biggest weapons producer on the planet, right? Israel is the fourth biggest producer on the planet and so they got the American scared crapless to the point where they don't know where to put any more bases. They got the entire place and so they have electronic warfare going on. They're polluting them. They're hitting with microwaves. Israel wants peace, but it's got 49 bases by America around them. So they don't want peace. That's the last thing they want. Peace is not good for the fourth biggest weapons producer on the planet. What are they going to do if they got peace? Israel is a militarized society. Everybody has to serve. They got to go kill the Palestinians or they go to jail. There's no options. Now, proportionally, you can see what Israel can do. 
If you took all of Hamas's rockets and multiplied it by about a hundred thousand uh, that they fired at Israel, every one of them, you still cannot do what's in that single picture. Do you understand the significance of what I'm saying to you, proportionally? Five million refugees that they drove out of there, and they drove, they, Jordan's got a million. Where's Jordan getting the water? Where's Jordan going to get the land? Jordan can't give them driver's licenses. They can't let them go to their schools. Jordan can't do nothing. In fact, Israel has spent so much money to get all that land that they could probably give each Palestinian, including the ones in the refugee camps, the five million in refugee camps, and all of them in Gaza, six to ten million dollars each. And they can immigrate anywhere they want and they'd be fine. But no, Israel has to slaughter them. Israel had to find a reason to go in there to burn up that country and try out their laser weapons. Netanyahu said that Hamas will pay for the killing of the three Israeli teens. But it turns out Hamas didn't kidnap and didn't kill the three Israeli teens. But Benjamin Netanyahu was determined Hamas will pay. Now Hamas is 10,000. 10,000 people that shouldn't be there that shouldn't have got elected, that wasn't expecting to get elected, that had were, were kind of hoping to get a member in, but they certainly weren't expecting to become the Palestinian Authority. They were created, because the people that are there now don't even know how Hamas started. They got rid of all of them. They got rid of all the links that links back to them. But you can't get rid of history. Lasers are no longer a Star Wars fantasy. Israel is developing a portable iron beam. Portable, portable, portable. What part about that is that people couldn't wrap their mind around? 